Welcome to Reread, where I'm rereading through the Expanded Universe in chronological order, and we are on the final book in the Star Wars Episode One Adventures. This four-part story arc, book number 12, written by Ryder Wynnum, is The Bongo Rally. Uh, now, there were three other books that came out after this, but they're all just renditions of the Episode One movie, so I'm not going to be reviewing those because there's nothing new to share. It's just the movie told through a children's book. But as you know, in the Bongo Rally, Captain Tarples promised Jar Jar he would get tickets, so he's going to deliver the tickets, but he doesn't want to sit with Jar Jar because Jar Jar tried to trick him, and there is seriously like three or four pages where Jar Jar is convincing Tarples that he didn't trick him. I don't, I don't know why it went on and on and on, because Tarples explains why he thought he was tricking him. Jar Jar says he wasn't tricking him. Well, even if you weren't tricking me, I still wouldn't want to go. Why wouldn't you want to go? Because you were tricking me. No, I wasn't tricking you. It's really weird. It's a little bit long. Uh, the explanation was and the scene was. I don't understand what the, I mean, maybe we were filling pages or something, but it's a children's book. Why would you need to fill pages for it? Uh, either way, though, after that whole silliness is done, uh, Boss Nas goes to the historian, um, I can't remember his name now, Rep, Rep Bean, and says, hey, you need to help me here. Jar, uh, Major Fossa, my niece, who's very beautiful, everyone loves her, Tarples even likes her, and Tarples knows he can't get into a romance with someone who he's, you know, serving with in the Gungan army. But he says, hey, you need to find me a way to get uh, Major Fossa out of her life debt from Jar Jar. And so he finds out there's an ancient rule that if someone is on probation, which remember, Jar Jar Binks has been on probation this whole adventure. If he's been on probation and she made the life debt to him, the life debt is null and void unless she made it before he went on probation. And Boss Nass had to think about it. He's like, no, I just put him on probation. And then right after that, he saved Major Fossa's life. And he as well, then Major Fossa would have to be put on probation too, or it would be null and void. And Boss Nass was like, this is the happiest news me has ever heard. You know, because he does really no, does not like Jar Jar. No one likes Jar Jar. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Ryder's kind of getting out the frustration from a bunch of the fans who hated him too. I don't know. But in this book, nobody likes Jar Jar. Except for Major Fossa. She kind of feels sorry for him. And so uh, Boss Nass delivers the great news to Major Fossa. Jar Jar's relieved because Jar Jar likes her too, but he wants Fossa to love him because of who he is, not because she, she, he has a life debt uh, to him. And so Major Fossa goes, okay, well, she still thinks Jar Jar's brave and she gives him a kiss on the cheek and of course Jar Jar's all woozy. And I, I can't remember who was looking on, but Boss Nass is like, shocked you know like what's going on is she falling in love with jar jar oh no am i going to be related to jar jar which is very understandable to be scared about meanwhile captain swag has escaped in his uh little escape pod and he's going to make it to his next hideout it's going to take him like 12 14 days or something to travel through space to get to it he's all mad and bitter because his plan didn't work and all his droids got destroyed well, he does a little check as he's leaving the planet, and he finds out there's two droids. The two droids that were captured by the Gungans are still alive. Well, since droids are expensive, and maybe he can seek revenge, he turns things back around because it's, they say this three times in two pages, his escape pod does not have a hyperdrive. Yet we know that. <laughs> but they get really repetitive in that. That doesn't have, it mentions at the beginning, it has no hyperdrive, so it's going to take a while. And then the trip's going to take 12 days because it doesn't have a hyperdrive. And then later on when he decides to go back and free the two droids and just kind of mess up their bongo rally race, he says it's better than waiting 12 days in, a, in an escape pod that doesn't have hyperdrive. Yes, we know. You've said this before. Uh, anyway, so Captain Swag goes back. He frees the two droids. They go out of their way to try to ruin the Gungan's day. This is just straight revenge because Swag doesn't even have a ship anymore because the Gungans captured it. So the, the droids capture one of the pilots, disguise themselves, you know, put themselves in uh, that pilot's clothes, and go to enter the race. Now, this is another adventure where Jar Jar is at the beginning and then Tarples takes over at the end. So you probably played as both characters. Jar Jar teams up with two other pilots that he meets on a bus to the Bongo Rally. Uh, and they go on this adventure together, and of course, one twists their ankle. I can't remember what happened to the other one. He got lost or something. I can't remember. And Jar Jar eventually kind of saves the day, but points out that, oh no, that droid, he got one droid, but the other droid is 
disguised because he found the other, the real racer and with, with his clothes off and saying that, hey, that droid took my clothes. So he doesn't know if he can save the bongo rally in time, so he reaches out to Captain Tarples, who's sitting there watching, and this is kind of funny too, kind of sad. Uh, Tarples told him he don't want to watch the bongo rally, but then Jar Jar sees him watching the bongo rally with Major Fossa, you know, kind of like Jar Jar's girl, and, and Tarples is smiling, and he said, Jar Jar says he's never seen Tarples spot, smile, uh, but he tells Tarples about it. And uh, uh, to be fair, Fossa thinks that Jar Jar is making things up, but then Tarples can read people and goes, no, Jar Jar's on the level, you know, and so he knows Jar Jar's telling the truth. So he, it, the story kind of switches to Tarples being the focus as he commandeers a bongo right, right before, 30 seconds before the race is about to go. He tells someone to get out of it because he knows he can't get, you know, that far down before the race starts, so he just uh, to to grab the droid out of that uh, bongo, and so he gets a uh, gungan to get out of the bongo and pilot it, and then there's this big chase where he takes that droid out, and of course captures Captain Swag at the end too. Boss Nass is very happy. He doesn't know how Tarples did it because he doesn't know Jar Jar tipped him off. Well, Tarples is about to say it was a tip from Jar Jar, but then he realizes, oh wait, Jar Jar is supposed to be working at a restaurant right now. And if Boss Nass fi finds out that he was actually at the race instead of working, he could get in trouble. So Tarples left his name out, not trying to you know, get him out of giving him the credit. It's just that he didn't want uh, Jar Jar to get in trouble because he kind of felt you know, that he owed Jar Jar something for giving him that tip. Either way, Boss Nass is delighted with that. So at the very end, because I was about to be a liar here, I was like, wait a minute, I thought this told the story of Jar Jar crossing the bo uh, crashing the boss's hemoglobin somewhere, and yes, at the very end, uh, Jar Jar's in the restaurant, things go wrong uh, in the mansion, something's happening, It's I don't understand, but I think there's a flood coming into the mansion, I guess they're above water at this point, but either way, the boss's hemoglobin is about to be destroyed, so Jar Jar pilots it to save it, but of course ends up crashing it. Which then leads, and it's very short, it then leads to his banishment from Gungan City. He's out there, Tarples has dropped him off. This may be from where the comic book Tales picks up. And now he's on his own and it's about to lightning strike. I thought for a minute they're going to connect it to, you know, episode one, but they didn't. So it seems like he's going to stay out there for a few nights. Jar Jar's hungry and he's alone. It is kind of sad. But there's your little sad ending to the Star Wars Episode of One Adventures. What I think of the story overall, I've kind of already given my thoughts on it. Ryder Wynnum made Gungans interesting, and for that, good deal. Is it the best thing in the world? Does it connect to everything else? No, it doesn't, not, not as the EU is considered. And to me, I, I, I've always been impressed with the Star Wars Episode One Adventures. I think to get big hitters, in my opinion, like Ryder Wynnum and Dave Wolverton, was a great idea. They could have gotten basically any authors, but they got, for, for me, I felt like these two guys are heavy hitters because they've written so much before in the Star Wars universe. They could have just grabbed some random children's author and thrown it in there, but they didn't. So I will give this to Scholastic. They do care about the quality of their books. And the quality of their books is really good when we're grading them on a level of children's books. Uh, do you have to track them down? No, not really. But... If you wanted to read them, yeah, I think they'd be fun. All right, folks, that's it for now. See you next time.